this is my guide to downloading the HD remaster and the 60 FPS for Roddy Out of Stories. So the first thing you're going to want to download is PCSX2 Nightly, which you can get from this site here. I'll put the relevant links in the description down below to download all the stuff that you're going to need. Once you're here on this site, go to download and you'll get nightly releases. You want to go to latest nightly and more than likely you'll download Windows if, unless you have Linux or Mac you download that obviously. But we're going to download Windows. That should take, it shouldn't take long to download at all. The only thing it's going to take a little while to download is the HD pack. Unless you have fast internet, then it'll probably download really fast. But for me, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. But if, obviously you're going to have faster internet than me probably, so it'll download a lot faster for you. But yeah, once you have PCSX2 Nightly downloaded, you're going to want to 7-zip it. So go to 7zip.org and download the x64 if that's what you're using. Some people will probably be, might be 32-bit or this one here. But a majority of people it'll be the first one. Download that. And then go to the, this is the PCX2 I just downloaded. We're going to create a folder. And we're going to title it. PC, oops, PCSX2 Nightly. And we're going to put a, a 2 since I already have one made already. And we're going to want to go to 7-zip. And we're going to extract files instead of extract, extract here. If we extract here, there's going to be a bunch of files just like on your downloads and you don't want that obviously so it's better to extract to a particular folder which is what we'll do uh, PCSX2 Nightly 2 and we'll extract there and then here's our folder which I don't know why it doesn't have like for some reason it doesn't have like textures folder but it should I don't know why it doesn't when I create the second folder, but you're going to need a folder called textures and cheats if there isn't one already made. There should, if you don't already have a nightly build, there sh it should already have it. But for some reason it didn't when I just got it here, but it, sh it should have a cheats and a textures folder already. So you won't have to worry about that. Once you have PCSX2 Nightly, you can get the HD pack from this site here. Which I'll put in the description down below. And you want to scroll down. This is the before and after pictures. The left is what it looks like on emulator. And on the right is the HD pack. And you can tell like the, the emulator version looks, just, looks good as well. So... If you don't want the HD pack, you don't have to download it if you don't want to. I do recommend the 60 FPS though. The 60 FPS is amazing. It, it is literally the best. But if you don't want the HD pack, that's fine. But I will show you how to download it anyway. But the emulator version does look good in and of itself. And then, yeah, download my HD pack here. By the way, this HD pack was made by 1VIE. R O C K, so one V Rock, and then here's his, here's the link to download it. And don't worry, this site is safe. No, I don't want to add video. This is, didn't pop up last time, so I don't know why this is popping up now. But it's hit skip add, close that down. And it'll say to wait between downloads. Don't click anything else on the site, by the way. I'll tell you what to click. But yeah, once on the site, uh, you might have to scroll down. And you'll see download here. So click download. And it'll download the 
Well, actually, you gotta click this as well. Click here to download the file. Don't click anything else, like I said. Click here to download the file. And there you go, at the bottom left corner down there, you could tell Radio Stories 7 Zip. And that's the HD pack that you'll be downloading. I'll pause the video here until the download is done. And then I'll show you what to do with this file. And yeah, this site might seem a little sketchy. The next, the other site we'll go to later for the 60 FPS will seem a little sketchy as well, but it, it, it's safe as long as you don't click anything outside the downloads, you're good. So don't worry about that. All right, my down, my HD pack is downloaded. So you want to go show in folder. And there's the file right there, right out story 7 zip. That's the HD pack. That's not the that's not the ROM of the game. The ROM you have to get on your own. I'm not gonna tell you to get the ROM. Uh, so you're on your own about that. But what I like to do is I, I'll title it Roddy Ada Store. I'll make another folder, Roddy Out Stories HD Pack. I don't know why I did all caps there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but I take the file. 7-zip, extract files, not extract here. And you want to select that folder I just made. HD pack. That's okay. And it'll, it'll extract the HD pack to that folder. As you can tell here. It might take longer or it might go faster if you have a faster PC. I have a gaming, I'm using a gaming laptop, so it's not going to be as fast as if for you guys. You guys probably have a desktop, so it'll be a lot faster for you guys, more than likely. Um, yeah, HD pack. And you'll get these files here. What you want to do is you want to copy, cut, and you want to move this folder to your PCSX2 Nightly Textures folder and then paste. And there you go, it's all in here. Now, I don't know if you need, if if it works in with, the, with them in the folder like that. So just to be safe, I'm going to copy cut and just paste them into the textures here instead of, um, yeah, I'm just going to put them here and just get rid of this folder. So yeah, there you go. There's the files that you get. I just didn't know if it worked in the folders or not. I don't ever do, I don't ever do that. I just post them direct. I just paste them directly in. You know, I don't want them to be in a folder or anything like that. It probably won't mess anything up, but I, just to be safe, I'll go ahead and delete that other folder. We don't need the folder anymore. We just need the files here. These are the only files we need. So once these files are in your textures folder, you're good to go. You have the HD pack, and then you can open up your nightly, which I've opened up here. I'll wait for the game to pop up um, here in a second. Now, I recommend when you create settings for games, I recommend you do them independently. If you go here and go to graphics, this will affect all your games. Uh, every single game that you have on here. If you change the settings here. However, if you right click properties, you can do games independently. So we'll change the settings for Roddy Out of Stories. And what you want to do, I have it set to 3x native, 1080p. Uh, you want to set the texture filtering to bilinear forced. You also want to check, check, set the any isotropic filtering to x16. Then you want to go over to texture replacement and you want to check async texture loading and then pre-cache textures. Once you've done that, you are done with the HD pack.
Next up, you're going to want to have the 60 FPS 100%. So you're going to go to this site here for the HD pack, which I'll put in the description down below. Click download. Close that down immediately. You don't, that's an ad or whatever popping up. You'll get this file here and simply take this file, copy, cut, hold on, it's not working. Copy, cut, okay, I guess it worked there. Go to your PCS62 nightly and copy it to the cheats folder. So you want to put that, this file here in the cheats folder. And then what you want to do, right click, properties, cheats, and you want to enable cheats. And then it will load up the file, it will automatically load up the file that has a 60 FPS. And your game will then automatically be 60 FPS and you will not have to change anything else. You're good. You can close it down and you're, you're good. You have the 60 FPS. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load it up here. Just to show you the game. Booting up here. I have it sped up here. Let me slow it down. There. Oops. There we go. Hit continue. Well, obviously you'll be doing a new game, but... I'm going to load the game here just to show you. So the game running at 60 FPS. Very beautiful. I highly recommend the 60 FPS and you can get the HD textures if you want to but that's up to you. Yeah, but the game looks pretty phenomenal. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job on the 60 FPS and they did a good job on the HD textures. The HD textures was made by 1-V-I-E-R-O-C-K so 1-V-Rock and the 60 FPS was created by G A R O U 128. So thank you to them for making all this possible, for doing what Tri should have done a long time ago. Tri should have made HC or Master of this game a long time ago. But the game didn't sell very well, and you can kind of understand from their point of view. They were probably scared it wouldn't sell well again, and all that, and. When you create games, you want them to sell well, obviously. It's like making videos. You want you want you want the videos to get a lot of views. You don't want to get low amount of views. You want to get a lot of views. And when you create games, you want to you want them to sell well. So that's probably why they never did a HD remaster of this game, even though it is an amazing game, my favorite game of all time. So. It would be nice if they did HD remaster or at least a re-release. Re -re they don't even have to HD remaster it, just bring it out on PlayStation Network. But they haven't done it yet, so I don't know if it ever will happen. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is how to download and play Radio Stories in HD and 60 FPS. Later.